Hi, this is Dr. Dina Mannion. I'm here at Revive Recovery talking to Shane, who is coming to us from the Dr. Phil Show for detoxification from alcohol and treatment for his substance use. Hi, Shane. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing fine, doing good great to now. See you. You Absolutely. Look great. Thank you. you. Great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to talk a little bit about your journey because it's been quite a ride it has. for you. It has. Let's start with going on the Dr. Phil show and okay. how that was for you. It was a very whirlwind trip. Um, you know, my good friend, Old Price, she um, contacted the show, sent in some pictures of some injuries that I had and uh, just... She's your angel, by the way. She is an angel. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. No, my, my salvation, you know. And mm-hmm. She saw what was going on and I didn't necessarily see it at the time, but I do now. And I'm just so thankful for everything that she's done. And So walk me through what it was like to go on the show that day and what your thinking was and how it was actually being there on TV in front of millions of people. Well, Dr. Bandy, I'll tell you, uh, it was really something to see myself on a camera screen for the very first time under the influence I'd never seen that before, and that was a real big wake-up call for me. Uh, Dr. Phil was just extremely thorough with his all of his uh, findings and research that he did. Um, he knew you pretty well. He did, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, I know that he did mention that his father had some problems, and mm-hmm. and uh, that really made me feel more at ease. Um, he really related to I your did. struggle. I yeah. did, absolutely. Absolutely. And for somebody to know, you know, to live through that, mm-hmm. I realized what I was possibly doing to my children. Yeah. And that's... He was pretty passionate when he talked to you about drinking and driving. Exactly. And just the effects of that on others and the harm that you could cause right. to yourself right. and others. Did that kind of shake you up? It did. It mm-hmm. did. Seeing the pictures and the fatalities and, and everything, you know, that was on the show uh, really woke me up. Mm-hmm. It really terrified me. And, you know, when you're in that state, you don't really realize how bad you are. Mm-hmm. But seeing myself on video changed all that for mm-hmm. me face change when you saw those videos of yourself up on the screen yes. I mean you look scared I was scared I was absolutely I mean just to realize the damage that I could have done to other people other families I can't live with that and I don't want to live with that and uh, here at Revive it's just been a great experience and uh, tell, talk- me, tell me a little bit about your experience at Revive I was brought over after the Dr. Phil show, and everybody was just had warm welcomes. I mean, it was really different. Because uh, you had been to treatment before. I had been to treatment before, and it was just like you were another number. It mm-hmm. didn't, didn't really matter, but the Revive people really showed concern. They would sit down and talk to you for as long as you wanted to, uh, explain your story, and... It's been a blessing for sure, absolutely. I know that one of the things that we were concerned about on the show was the amount of alcohol that you were drinking right. and that it might be a pretty difficult medical detox for you, but it sounds like they made you super comfortable and you they really did. skated through it pretty, absolutely. pretty easily. Yes, yes, it's been a pleasant experience and I highly recommend Revive to anybody mm-hmm. that needs a little help like I did. and. Uh, just been a blessing yeah for sure so tell me a little bit about the therapy because I know that on the show you weren't really sure why you were drinking or why you were self-medicating so seriously have you worked on some of those core issues yet you yes know, like- I you know I've sit a lot of time out on the back porch and and watch the squirrels and the birds and and really meditate a lot and reflect on things that have happened to me, you know, uh, with my whole story. And it just makes you, when you're in a, uh, such a good atmosphere and such a great facility, it 
just makes everything better. I mean, it does. And so you're able to just sit and think without and all think. the world happening exactly. around you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of in my own little world, and I'm just reflecting, and it's it's been a great experience. That's all all I yeah. can say. Yes. So when we talk about core issues, Shane, I know that you've been working at Revive on looking at some of the deeper issues that you weren't really able to understand or recognize or feel emotional about when you were on the show right. or just in your alcoholism in general. Can you say a little bit more about what kinds of things you've found out about yourself while you've been here? Well, um, I'm an emotionally, I'm an emotional disaster. I've uh, been taught my whole life, don't show emotion, hold your cards, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but here at Revive, it's, they actually get make you talk. And once you start talking and getting those core issues out and just, just saying it to another person, that's one of the steps, saying it, just mention it to another person, has really been very beneficial. Um, my wife leaving me, uh, divorced earlier this year, after 16 years of marriage, two kids. I've come to realize that after 16 years of marriage, we didn't have any problems. We had one problem, only one, and that was me. But I didn't see it at the time. But now it's perfectly Crystal clear. clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Absolutely. Well, if nothing else, that's a pretty big realization. It is. It it certainly is. And, you know, I just want to, maybe one of these days, whenever the smoke kind of clears away from the situation, I can go to her and say, you know, I'm really sorry for my actions and the way that I possibly could have treated you or, you know, I just, I need to apologize. I do. How about your children? Where do they stand today? They're, they're good. I get to, uh, to talk to them just about every day. Um, my daughter's 13 years old and she is to the tween age. You know, she wants to be with her friends and doesn't really want to talk to dad on the phone and she, she'll talk, you know, but it's not elaborate or anything like that. But my son, he's, Hey, when are you coming on? I can't wait to see you. You know, it just... They just want you better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They just want you better. Want me better. Want to see everything right. And I know I can provide that. Uh, are you excited? I just needed the tools. Are you excited for that? I am. Very excited. Very excited. He's 10 years old. And, you know, I've taught him a lot about tools and mechanical things. And uh, Wow, now you can teach him about feelings. Right. From a man, right? Yeah. 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 Good for you. It's going to be a change from my years of experience with my dad, and you know, yes. it's going to be a little difficult, but it's going to be in a positive way. You're going to give him a gift. Yes, absolutely. Great. And revive, and all of the staff here will follow you throughout your journey and make wow. sure that you're continuing to do well. And um, they will stay in touch with you as an alumni and talk to you about your journey and keep you involved. Because I think that one of the things that you've lacked, and it was really clear on the show, is support. Right. And to have the support not just of the treatment center, but of the peers and the people that you've met, right. and of people in the 12-step meetings, and how that all kind of plays into what you're going to need when you go home, Exactly. eventually, if you decide to do that. <laughs> Dr. Phil, Thank you. he very much likes to keep in touch with his guests and know that they're on the right track and path, so to speak. Is there anything you want to say to Dr. Phil directly? <sighs> Yes, yes there is. Dr. Phil, I sincerely, with the bottom of my heart, appreciate these opportunities that I've been given, reviving. Uh, It's pretty much life-saving. The staff, his staff has been so 
warm and like you said into your uh your case or your circumstances and um you know with the text messages from his producers and everybody involved uh and then the aftercare they're i understand that they've been asking you know about me and how's he doing and it's uh you know, me being from the South, you get that was warm and fuzzy feeling, you know, and I and I have that, and it that, that means more than anything. You know, I've been told uh, by some doctors here at Revive that I was a role model client, mm. and that made me feel pretty good. Yeah, you know. I bet you haven't heard that in a while. Right, right, right exactly. Yeah. And but, but that also means that you have that in you, Shane. That you had that all along. You lost yourself. I did. And you're getting back on track. I'm so proud of you and your journey. Thank goodness. Thank goodness is all I can say. Good job. Good job. Up top. Up top. Good job.